Hello folks, my name is Paddy. About five years ago, I made a video about how to open a locked or broken window handle. Um, a lot of people commented on that video and for the vast majority of people, that method worked totally fine for them. But there was some comments uh, from some people to say that that method didn't work for them. Now the reason I'm guessing it didn't work for them is because all the handles in that video all had the same type of locking mechanism and that method only will work for that type of locking mechanism so in this video i'm going to show how to open locked and broken window handles that have another really common type of uh, locking mechanism in them over the years there have been hundreds if not thousands of different window handles that have been manufactured and nearly all of them have the ability to be locked uh, with a key in one form or another and um, broadly speaking there are three main types of locks that are used in window handles there are two auto locking types and then the other type is a dead locking type in this video i'm going to be dealing with the two auto locking types because they are by far and away the most common types used in ireland and the uk and more than likely the same for other parts of the world the third type the dead locking type isn't really all that common anymore and the method to open that type of um, locking mechanism is really a video on its own. Both types of auto locking handles will operate in the same way. Both have a push button that you will push with your thumb. The button is pushed with your thumb to release the lock. The handle lever is then turned to open the window. When the handle is turned back to the closed position you will hear a little click. This is the sound of the lock automatically locking. Locking the handle with the key only stops the button from being pushed. It does not deadlock the handle. So both types of auto locking handles can be bypassed using the right methods. This is a typical deadlocking type handle. What looks like a button doesn't move at all when pressed. When the key is turned, you can see the core move. It protrudes out of the handle lever. When the handle is in the closed position and the key is turned, the core will protrude into the handle base, locking and stopping the handle lever from moving. There are different methods to open each type of lock, so you need to know what type is on your window to know how to open it. So let's just say that this one here is locked. Um, I want to go to the closest window that has the exact same handle as this one. So luckily enough, this window up here is unlocked and it has the exact same handle. If your window only has one opening uh, with one handle, go to the next window in the next room and try that one. The first auto locking type handle can be identified by the cutout in the base of the handle. The cutout will look something along the lines of this. And under the handle lever, you will see a little wedge protruding out. The wedge will retract when the button is pushed. The second auto locking type handle can be identified by the block in the handle base. In the base of this type of handle, you will see a little block like this. It can be either plastic or metal. This is a dead giveaway that it is this type. Under the handle lever, you won't see anything protruding out. So now that we know how to identify the different types of locking mechanisms, I'm going to start into opening. So this is a selection of window handles that have the first type of uh, locking mechanism. I'm going to lock them all and then I'm going to show you how to open them. Uh, the only one um, that I'm not going to lock with the handle is this one because it's actually broken. So I'm pushing the button here and it's not releasing. So this method is going to uh, it's going to work the very same um, even even though it's broken. In the original video, I used the belt clip from a measuring tape um, and people commented in the last video um, saying what items they used uh, to open their window handles and people used like credit cards, different types of knives, paint scrapers, uh, guitar plectrums was another one. Um, whatever really um, is going to be strong and thin will, will do the job. 
but just one thing to bear in mind so this one here you can see the gap between the handle lever and the base you can see the light there through it this one is quite big like uh, a credit card would probably would probably open this type of window handle but then you're going to get window handles like this one where it's very thin uh, even though you can see light through there it's um, that's going to be a struggle to get a credit card into that so I had a good old think to see if I could come up with an, an item that would be very strong and thin but would also be found in the majority of people's homes and I thought of a hair clip because if your house is like mine these are absolutely everywhere and they're really strong and thin and they're absolutely perfect for this I'm locking each handle here with its respective key Now I'm taking the back of the hair clip and I'm inserting it between the handle lever and the base, close to the center of the handle lever. I'm gently pushing in and then gently downwards. At the same time with the other hand, I'm gently moving the handle lever left and right. When you are doing it on your window handle, give slightly more emphasis to the direction that the handle will open. If you do it correctly, the handle should open. So next we have the second auto locking type of window handle. So again, I have a selection here of window handles that have that type of locking mechanism in them. So again, I'm going to lock them all with the key and uh, open them with the method. Uh, again, I have one that is broken. Um, it's really difficult to open if i stay pushing at it i probably will but for all intents and purposes it's it's broken so same story as the first type i'm going to uh open this one as well so for this type of window handle we're going to need um something to open it with so i had a good old think again and i wanted something that would be available in most people's homes but will also do the job and uh, the two items that I came up with are a paper clip or a split ring from a key ring like this so we have the split ring here again you want to go as thin as you possibly can um, because the same story as the first type there will be a massive difference between the space in some handles than others so that type there well this is an old one anyway so there's wear in it as well so there's a lot of room in it and then you have the likes of of this where there isn't a whole lot of room so again you want to be nice and thin so uh, I have a split ring here that I'm going to use and I'm just going to start to pull it open. You probably need a pliers or something similar. So I have pliers here and what I want to do is straighten it out as best we can. So you want about an inch and a half or so. Of a straight and then at the end just want to put a, a bend in it about about 45 degrees
So that's what you should be aiming for, something along those lines. Uh, you should be able to do the same with a paper clip as well. Okay, so here's the handle um, set up. So we can see it has the little block which will tell us straight away that it's this type of handle. So I have a section of it cut out at the side so you can see what happens now as I close the handle. There's a little spring behind the block and when it closes down fully, it springs into the um, space in behind the handle lever. So when you push the button, you can see it gets pushed back and then it allows you to turn the handle lever to open the handle. So here's our newly created tool. It's actually going to be a little bit tricky for me now with this section here missing because it'll have a tendency to wander around the place. But anyway, we'll persevere. So I'm going to put it in flat at the bottom you can also come in at the side but it's a little bit more tricky put it in as far as it'll go and then turn it so it faces in to the handle lever at the same time now with your other hand i'm going to put a little bit of turning pressure on the handle and then pushing forward and twisting back That is what should happen. With this method, it will take a good bit more skill and patience. Take your time, don't use too much pressure, and it will eventually open. Now that you have your window handle open, uh, what do you do? A lot of people have asked me in the comments in the previous video, um, what what do you do in that scenario? Can the lock be replaced or repaired? And the answer really truthfully is it probably could be, but it's just, it's not worth the hassle. Like all these locks and all these handles, they're all mass produced, um, tracking down just a little lock section for them it's just it's not worth the hassle you'll get a replacement window spag handle the likes of that for probably less than a tenner in most hardware shops uh, like uh, screw fix or b and q or any of those places um it's going to be the easiest fastest and cheapest option um i'll leave a, a link up here somewhere um i have a video to show how to replace um a windows bag handle on a pvc window so that's it for this video i hope it's been helpful please like and subscribe and if you're feeling super generous you can hit the super thanks button down there somewhere if you have any questions please leave them in the comments below and i will do my very best to reply to them in a timely manner and yeah that's it cheers thanks for watching